your your grandfather who was a preacher what do you what do you think he would think about um, mm. the state of your instagram sorry i'm like super hard of hearing do you care to like repeat what would, oh, what would your what would your grandfather think about your instagram and he your knows, lifestyle my family knows i told my family as soon as i started doing only fans because i didn't want them to think i was actually doing which they would never think i was doing prostitution but like I just make a lot to not do that much considering compared to other people what they do which I don't care what people do on OnlyFans but everyone has their niche and mine is that I came from a Christian family and uh, the Bible Belt and then went to Florida sorry wait your your grand your preacher grandfather knows that you are selling sex on the internet but what I do live for seven years, I've been doing it for seven years. So. And what does he say about it? Um, he did, we don't talk about. It. Wow, that's crazy, man! Imagine your, um, your grandfather, knowing that you do sex work on the internet. Like the way, I when I was growing up, just even your parents knowing that you disrespected a teacher, they would literally. Oh my God! They would they would come to school. Your parents would your the teachers would call your parents come to school, and your parents would smack you in front of the teachers and the and the and the kids, so you would get embarrassed. So the last thing your grandfather, let alone your father, would ever hear when I was growing up, at least in my generation. And that is 90s baby right here. The last thing your parents would ever want to hear is how you're doing sex work and they are okay with it. Like when I was growing up, parents could literally disown kids just for having poor grades in school on and on and on and on. Because they're like, hey, listen, we're paying your school fees, your school tuition, and you're not doing well in school. You're wasting time in school. And parents would literally disown kids just for bad grades now imagine telling your parents you are doing sex work but hey times have changed different environments so this is just uh, interesting to hear got it he he's a he's a real christian he doesn't judge me for what i do he knows that all the things that the places that i've been i take care of my mom for the last couple of years so like i couldn't do that maybe with a normal job and live in florida and have all the nice things that i have so I didn't come think, from any money. You think real Christians don't judge? Um, I think that, yeah, I think that it's not their place. Well, yeah, everybody judges. I don't care if you're Christian, if you are Muslim, if you're atheist, if you are, I don't care what religion you are. Every human being judges. In fact, it's in our, it's in our nature as humans to judge because through judgment, then we can make decisions on life. So everybody judges. Whether now that you use poor judgment or good judgment is one thing, but everybody judges. This whole thing of because you're a Christian, you shouldn't judge or something. I don't believe it because by nature we judge. The decisions we make, you make it you're making a judgment of should I do this? Is this okay or should I do this? This is not this is not okay. So everybody judges. It's not Maybe. a Christian's place to judge. I don't judge people, but also I do OnlyFans, so why would I? Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, that sounds like a cope, right? Sounds yeah, like you're coping. You should quote me on it. So does your, your your grandfather, he knows, and he just, you know, he just doesn't, he's just not a very judgmental type of, of Christian, your, your, your preacher grandfather? Yeah, yeah, it's just definitely not talked about. Um, they know that I took the route of growing a lot of social media, so I've had like 15 million followers. Oh, okay. Loose Pussy Energy donated $100. Holy shite, this girl is fucking her rum. Traditional my fucking ass. Brian Abdul is backing the truck up. He has an appointment with this 304. Hashtag get the rocks, hashtag cat food, hashtag end up alone, bish. What's cat food mean? So how does this conversation play out with preacher grandfather? Lady. Like walk me through it. You just were like, hey, I'm um, 
going to sell sex on the internet and he was just like well okay then or like how, how does that work exactly um like how did i start how did i get started no 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 oh, no, no, no. Nope. i don't i don't want to hear how you got oh. started just curious your conversation with your grandfather who's a preacher mm -hmm. right how does that conversation go how does that work exactly would you Yo, that's even harder, man, to have your grandfather who's a preacher in the church and you're telling him you do sex work. I would think he's going to pray for you first thing, right? I would think he's going to cast the demons out of you the first thing. Man, it's, it's crazy. Uh, but let me hear what she has to say because that conversation, I want to know exactly how the conversation went. That's interesting. When you sit down with him and you're like, hey, hey, Grampy, how you doing? uh you know i'm selling sex online they just he just does he just didn't care or so essentially i told my grandmother and my mom i didn't grow up with a dad go figure another stereotype about only fans that's normally always right um so yeah me and my grandpa we just don't talk about it why would we talk about me doing nude work why would i talk about nude work well i would only... think that perhaps he would try to talk you out of it no, yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a grown adult. I started at 22. Like, I'm 29 now, so I was plenty grown. I was 18. Nah, I don't... She's, she's lying. There's no grandpa who just... you. There's no grandfather out there, unless the grandfather used to be a pimp or also used to be uh, a porn star. There's no grandfather out there who's just going to clap his hands and encourage his granddaughter to go into sex work just just like that. So I don't believe her, and I actually the way she's speaking, I don't even I don't even believe she had this conversation with the grandfather. I think what happened is her parents or whoever knows told the grandfather, and that was the end of it. And he probably just didn't want to even engage in the conversation. But I don't believe he encouraged her. If anything, Andrew Wilson is right that he probably probably tried to talk her out of the whole thing, like deciding him and her do this well don't you think that a christian father would at least make the attempt i know they can't stop it right because you're an adult but wouldn't they make the attempt to talk their children out of doing only fans work yeah yeah i guess i didn't really give them such a, a chance to to uh to do it and then i kind of blew up really really quick on social media i kind of figured out how to grow really fast and um yeah, my stuff just got out there really, really fast. So within a year. Yeah, but you've been you've been at this for years and years, right? Yeah, yeah, for seven. There years. hasn't been any opportunity where Grandpa could come over and be like, "Hey, young whippersnapper, um, you know, maybe stop selling sex on the internet." That he that he's never had the opportunity to do that. Probably. So my grandma, she she's like kind of dying so when my grandma dies i'm sure that we'll have that conversation but we're just not close like that at this point because of the fact that i do only fans like how can i have daily conversations or weekly conversations with my grand well for one she said she makes lots of money and she takes care of her mom right so my thinking is if she takes makes a lots of money and she takes care of her mom probably the mom told the grandparents not to chastise her or criticize her and just let it be because if she's taking care of the mom the mom is like, hey, I mean, she made a decision, but she's taking care of me. So who cares? Let's just leave her alone to do what she got to do. Grandpa, who's godly, um, and talk about my life. You know, and my life is what it is. I live in Florida. They don't even want to hear about me going to the beach in my bathing suit. So. Okay. Now, you grew, you grew up, you said, without a father. Is that correct? Yeah, I had four stepdads. So <laughs> even better. So when you're talking about this grandfather, I'm guessing that it's your maternal grandfather, your your mom's father? Yeah. No, no, okay. actually he's not. It's my step grandpa. So yeah. You're, oh, it's your step step grandpa. Yeah. And it, which stepdad number would that be? Um my step grandpa? I mean, my mom didn't get with my grandpa. I don't know if that didn't make sense. Um no, I, I understand your mom didn't get with your grandpa, but if it's your step-grandpa, then your mom got with a man who you then considered his father to be your grandfather. Um, but you said you had four stepfathers, so I'm just wondering which in the line you consider step-grandpa to be. Second stepfather, third stepfather, fourth stepfather. No, he was never, never a father figure. He's 20 years younger than my grandma, so he's like, I guess he's close to my dad's age i have a dad i just didn't grow up with him like i have a my dad encourages me to do only so 
there's a lot of things that are wrong with a lot of people that do OnlyFans, and it's generally the people that are around them. All right, guys. I know some of you guys are what are enjoying this whole conversation and back and forth, but I just wanted to give my two cents on the whole. Grandfather was okay. Father was okay, and nothing happened. So, if you want to complete the whole video, as you can see, it's thirty-five minutes. I'll put the full link down below to the whatever podcast channel, and you can go watch the full thing. All right. Comment down below uh, your thoughts. Till next time. Peace.